Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is FM Raw, I am Tactic Lee and in today's video we are going to be creating a whole new system from defensive to attacking to controlling of the game. We've started the season and I have been streaming on Twitch so please look in the link below to come and follow live. Um, it didn't start so well and to be honest it was kind of a bit of a rush start. Now it's really important that you get your tactical team principles set up correctly um, and as you can see that we've had quite an indifferent run of form. In pre-season we lost 5-1 to Bayern Munich, not a good start. Um, we drew 0-0 with Atletico Madrid even though we dominated the game. We drew with Brentford on the opening day of the season and we've also, excuse me, we've also lost to Aston Villa 2-0 and I'm really ashamed to say that we had 21 shots conceded to one shot against. Why is that I wonder? Why is that you're wondering? How can we improve this? How can we make it better? I'll be honest I was being a little bit adventurous with the tactic that you're seeing on screen now but I was aiming to try and get three working at the back. So if we flip over to my spreadsheet which I am now working on um, let's go over so what we're trying to do is create balance between um, the middle line so it, in all three lines we need a balance of attack support and defensive duties um, as you can see here so on both flanks you need to sort of stagger the attacking lines so you've got the wing winger on the left here who is attacking but he needs somebody supporting and then on vice versa the opposite wing the winger is supporting and the fullback is attack so what we're going to look to do is change the defensive principles and rebuild this Manchester United tactic from bottom to top to get us back into a winning run of form because at the moment I'm just about to lose the player and the players and I'm just about to lose the dressing room so we're going to look at the defensive principles in the team instructions and we're going to look to build a tactic based on that together live now so it's going to take a little while to run through I'm not going to rush it we're going to go through it in detail and I want you to try and understand the principles of trying to play football manager without having to play the highest line of engagement and the highest press although sometimes you need it but other times it's when to drop off and knowing when to do so so what we're looking here um you can quite clearly see there's different styles of play so we've got primary goal is to just try and avoid defeat that would be for a team that is really really looking to stay in a division and just been promoted or lost key players you've got injuries etc and your forms just dropped so pause feel free to write that and them down although it's been stuck on the screen for ages you probably had time to write it but just take time write these instructions down and just try some of these out with different formations okay um, so today we're looking to try and play a possession based style of football looking to keep the ball as much as possible patiently building your attacks up until the opening occurs in the opposition defense okay so we're going to look to play a possession style so also here's something i created earlier what we need to do is balance the amount of defend support and attack duties within within the system so a couple of examples you can see here on the screen um if you're looking to sort of shut the shop and try and not to score like for example you can clearly see this is a 4-4-2 here so if you play defend duties across the back support across the middle and the attack um, up top obviously that could work but what you want to try and do is balance the roles apart so you've got your support player here up front with the poacher so team um, team a target man with a poacher you've got the winger on the sack on the left hand side and the winger support on the right hand side um, fullback support on the left supporting the attacking player going forwards because if you have attack with defend together what's going to happen is that's going to pull it all the way up here and he's going to stay back on defend so you don't want that for example um, so you want the winger B 
being atta- uh, supported by the f- support player and the winger supported supporting the defence player. So it's vice versa over this side. So whatever one supporting will support the other, whether it's attack or defend. Okay, and if you have everybody on support, you'll end hen- you'll end up with really nice possession, but nobody running in behind to get get in behind for the goal. But this is what we're going to look to create today: um, the four three three keep ball. And on paper, I feel like that's what we're looking to do with the amount of support, defend, and attack duties. We've got the three attacking. We've got four supporting. Ignore the goalkeeper; he doesn't count. Um, and then you've got the three defensive. So we're going to be a little bit wild and we're going to try and keep that and always keep the ball moving. OK, so that's what we're looking to do today. So let's move back over um, to football manager. Bear with me a second. Boom. And we're back. So what we're going to do is we are going to clear all of these slots because we've not started very well. And it's my fault. Even though I make mistakes, but I've been really thinking about this and let's see if we can put this into action one thing i haven't done too well is speak to you guys on on twitch whilst creating tactics um and interacting and playing at the same time i've i've been struggling with that a little bit i do have adhd and autism so i'm i'm struggling a little bit but i'm this is all new to me so do me a favor give me a thumbs up help me out i'm trying to grow the channel and i want it to work um, and I feel like this is the type of stuff that I want to do. I want to create tactics and show you that match engine can be manipulated and we can play other um, football that's not just attacking, if that makes sense. Right, so let's start with the back. We want to go with the sweeper keeper. Um, this is going to be our general play. So sweeper keeper, I might even have him on attack, you know, because this, this tactic is going to be Larry. What we're looking to do... Is we're going to have the wing backs higher. Okay. I want to play a possession style football. Um, we're going to have a deep line forward at the front. Um, so the central defenders. Are, if you play ball playing defenders. They're good. And they do unlock defences. But the problem is. They will try and launch 60 yard passes. All of the time. Um, and I've been wondering why. Um, players have been doing that but it is all to do with the options if there's no options in front he will hoof the ball clear anyway um, if there's no height width and depth and nobody available we're going to try and make triangles all over the pitch so we've got players available to us at all times so I feel that central defender on defend will actually perform slightly less risky passes in and around because we're looking to suck the opposition in um, attempt them to try and win the ball back, especially with just these three staying back. Um, I've not decided personnel yet, but we will work on that. Um, but we are looking to suck them in and then get in behind and try and work the opening. Okay, so central defenders, we're going to play a deep line playmaker on defend here because I want him to be defensive because we need a three at the back. If we look at the... the um, balancing roles we need three on defend we're going to go with four on support because we're playing a pos um, a positive mentality so i say three four three in the roles so three defend four support three attack if you want to go attacking mentality then i would have three defend write this down three defend three support and four attack but I wouldn't put all four attack at the front. I would balance it. I would move it. Some at the back, some in the middle, and some at the top. Um, I'd maybe do a wing back on attack, a central midfielder on attack, a cam on attack, and then a striker on attack, and then the rest sort of support and defend around them. Um, stagger it. Um, that's the mistake that I think I've been making, is I've been having it too symmetrical. Like, for example, I'll, sometimes I would even do this. I'm not going to do it now because I realise how unbalanced that is. I mean, if you're playing really fast, high-tempo, direct football, 
it can work but i think the only time that that will work is when the opposition are throwing everything forward at you trying to score a goal so i think there's a limited a limited amount of time that you can get this working okay i mean even if you was to do that um that's just outrageous and some people will literally play like that and everybody's looking to run in behind and it breaks down and that's what we're trying to eliminate it now so we're going to show you the way on this side we're going to go wing back on support on the opposite side we're going to have wing back attack now you might be thinking wow that looks very attacking i'm a bit worried about this area here i am too we can get sucker punched we can get caught on the counter but we're trying to play football and bring a brand of football to Manchester United to the likes they've never seen before. We're going to match Manchester City. We're going to try and go at them. And in fact, we're going to try and play this style against them. And it might fail, but I believe that I've created a great idea here on how we can try and play at their, them at their own game, if that makes sense. And there's three styles. There's a, a controlling there's a um, attacking and then there's a shut up shot version and every tactic you create you need option one two and three for different scenarios so this is our standard right so wing back in fact standard i might actually go wing back defend wing back support the standard so we've got four defending four supporting and two attacking well, no, I feel like that's actually a shut up shop version. Ignore me. We're get, we are going to create that, but in a different option. Um, right, and then on this side, we want... I'm feeling like Marcus Rashford should be the inside forward on the left. And we're going to have the deep line forward there on support, and the inside forward on support. Can you see how it's staggered? So they're both... All roles are complementing each other, except for this one right now. Um, because we've got the inside forward going in on attack here, we don't really want the midfielder going to the same position because they're both going to be looking to run past the deep line forward here supporting. And then if you have two on attack, they're both going to the same area. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do advanced playmaker on support. And this side, we're going to leave center, central midfielder attack. And that's it. That's the, that's the team. That's the roles. Every role there, as you can see, will complement each other. Okay, so what we're going to do here with the um, mentality is positive. Um, we are going to play out of defense because we're looking to keep the ball. We're going to work it into the box. And we're going to make the passing shortness low, but I'm going to leave the tempo alone. That's it. Right, and then in transition, we're going to counter press. We're going to pass the center backs and slow the pace down. Just because we're playing quite a pressing game, we don't really want them to win the ball back and then play quickly. We want to slow it down, get, let them have a breather, okay? Because we're trying to last the whole season. Out of possession, we're going to go higher press, higher defensive line. Um, and then we're going to... Bear with me a sec. Let me just have a look at my principles from earlier. We are going to play to um, possession style. So the high, higher line of engagement, higher the defensive line, prevent short goal kicks, and that's it. That's all we're going to do on here. That's perfect. So that's tactic one. That's, our, that's going to be our general tactic. Right now, tactic two, we're going to create the same. So four, three, three. Right, let the DM wide one. Thank you. Boom. We're going to do the same thing, but this time, this is when we go a goal ahead. So not much difference. The only thing is we're going to do here is we're going to go wing back defend, wing back support. Don't go too defensive. Something sometimes I find that people will go really, really defensive. Like they'll go defensive mentality, drop the line, drop the line, bring all the player roles down to defensive roles and there's no outlet and it's literally just wave after wave of attack. It can work, but you're going to be lucky if it does work. So we're going with a more conservative style of football that looks to rely on solid defense and swift 
counter-attacks, which is probably one of Manchester United's biggest strengths. So let's use that. We're going to go with a balanced mentality. We're going to go with a lower line of engagement and standard defensive line um, and get stuck in. That is literally it. Okay, and then in transition, we're going to counter. We're going to distribute to the fullbacks and we can distribute quickly because we're looking to counter now. Um, it's the opposite. And then in possession, we're going to go a little bit like this. Okay. Um, we're not going to play out defense. We're going to literally just play. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Tell you what, let's play out of defense to begin with. And we'll, let it, we'll see what happens. But generally speaking, we want to kind of counter them. But the goalkeeper's distribution will do that anyway. Okay, so if you distribute to wing backs, you're going to get the ball up quicker. If you play to your centre backs, you might be getting pressed. Um, it, I wouldn't be doing that if I'm trying to see a game out. And then as for the roles, let's sorry, bear with me. Let's get that back in and on. So inside forward attack, inside forward support. Deep line for in fact we might even change this up to a poacher but for the moment let's just keep the role similar advanced playmaker central midfielder attack this is always going to be central midfielder attack you need him for your outlet um i mean if you really wanted to in fact you know what we're not actually going to play the counter style because i'm just thinking about this if we want to play counter, we need to play wingers. I mean, we can. We could switch it up and go more like um, advance forward. See, I'm indecisive. I'm very indecisive when it comes to this game. I would think one thing, and then in a second, I'll be like, no, actually, I want to try this. But it all, it all, it's all the same. Right, so in fact, we need this to be support because he's on defend. We need that one to be attack because he's on support. Okay, so they're going to push up one side. And I actually feel like this one should be a deep line playmaker support with the central midfielder attack on this side. Okay, so we're attacking with four players because he can, he's still considered an attack player. Um, down here, deep line playmaker defend. You know what, I actually think box to box, he can get up and down. Defend, so we want, how many rolls was it? Let me just go back to my little, I read so much stuff on tactics and I won't take credit for everything I'm doing here. I read articles, I look, watch videos, I look at player roles, I've looked at combinations, I've looked at defensive lines. Um, I read and read and read and I learn. I mean, if I'm playing football and coaching football, kids football, which I have for years, then I would simply... Um, I would simply know what to do because I can see it in front of me. But on Football Manager, the instructions don't always match in the support roles, um, support duties, defend duties, attack duties. It's not always clear. And sometimes you think you want something, but actually you, you don't. Um, and this is what we're trying to do here is we're trying to simplify it. Um, so we want to increase defend. And so we want... Tell you what we're going to do we're going to go free defend and then we're going to do support five support duties one two three four hang on one two three four i don't know if i want that as a in fact we're going to do four Three, three defending, one, two, three, four support, two attacking. That's fine. That's perfect. I'm happy with that. Um, and down here, we're just going to low block, standard line of de uh, defense, and keep it nice and nice and simple. That's it. That's our sharp, sharp tactic. Okay. And then we're going to do the same. Create a new tactic. 
This one is going to be when we're really struggling to score a goal and we need to get a goal or we've got a goal behind. There's 15 minutes left. Um, let's just go and have some fun and try and unlock the door, shall we? Because we've got nothing to lose. So we're going to go straight away with an attacking mentality. Hang on, let me just push these two up. Um, where's my defensive principle? So with the defensive principle, so fast and intensive attacking style football. I'm going to switch back over to my... Right, here we go. Let's, so just so you can see what I'm doing. So fast, in fast and intensive attacking style football, 4-4-2, four, four, for example, but we're not doing that. Attacking mentality, transition, counter press, standard line of engagement, a higher D line, and then the PIs, we might fight a mark optional and get stuck in. That's also optional. Don't always do get stuck in if you haven't got the players for it. Uh, prevent short goal kick don't let them this is basically don't let them have a moment on the ball so attacking style i'm just going to leave all of this because attacking will make that all go up naturally anyway the only difference is we're going to play out of defense um and we might even hit early crosses this is we are try and run at defense sorry we're trying to score goals here so counter press um distribute distribute quickly we might cross the back line, whatever, whatever you suit, short, short kicks. And then out of possession, we're going to leave that mid block there, but we're going to go a higher defensive line. We're going to leave that because once you, the thing is with this game, right? If you go into these higher mentalities, attacking plus, if you start pressing really often, like much, much more, it becomes overkill. And what happens is your front man will literally charge at that player no matter what the cost is, that's his only job. And then that defender will then pass sideways and then pass pass out with no problem. So you need to uh, you need to maximise your defensive principles. And I will actually post the link to the article that I read to get this information because it really did. It's really helped me. It's really changed. It's actually made me realise that you can play defensive style football not the high press all the time in football manager as long as you get all of the the components correct and it will work i, I promise you right we are going to prevent the short goal kick um for, um sorry bear with me let's get back over to football manager for you sorry about that so we are going to get what did we say fast intensive attacking style football so we're counter pressing standard line higher Right, a marking of the goalkeeper. Sorry, back line. Get stuck in. Right, that was the one that we're missing. Get stuck in. Um, use offside trap. Right, so that's it. That's we're set. Tactically, we're set. We've created the three tactics. Now it's just about the personnel for Manchester United. Let's have a little look. So. We're going to do it nice and easy. Martinez, obviously, Varane, Varane. Deep line playmaker will be... Ding, 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 ding. This is going to surprise you. Christian Eriksen. Wing back. Luke Shaw. Right back. Diego Dallo. Uh, advanced playmaker. Bruno Fernandes. In fact, I think that's the other way around. Van der Beek. Um, Van der Beek and Bruno Fernandes are going to be the two central midfielders. And the reason why I'm picking these, by the way, Casemiro's injured at the moment and he can't play. Um, but generally speaking, what we're looking to do in the final third is have really good passes. So all three of these players, you may have noticed, they're all attack-minded. We're not looking to have ball winners. This possession tactic is about keeping the ball recycle and grow from there and then we can bring players on that can shut the shop up and we can switch roles to ball winning midfielders or um defensive midfielders or um anchor men or halfbacks whatever we might even have a halfback sometimes and try and get the defensive two to come up even higher if a team is really not coming out then we can afford to like literally play in the opposition half while they just sit there and have to weed it off uh, but 
one thing I find is football manager, it needs to be balanced. And that's what we're looking to do here. Sorry, I'm fiddling with my keyboard there. Right. On the right hand side, we're going to go with Anthony. Left hand side, Marcus Rashford. At the moment, it's Veg Horse because Martial is injured. So this is the best of what we got for this particular game. So as you can see, the form is not great. We're going to play this game now and see if what I've studied and sat and worked out and played in my mind over and over and over again, trying to work out what is it that we're trying to do with this formation? What is it we're trying to do with this team? Um, I study for a long time and I just want to try and get the best. So let's see what happens, shall we? Right. So we need to fix our bench because it's not right. Let's just take everybody out for a second and we'll put them back in. So starting with defensive players. Um, Malassia. Central defenders now, please. Lindelof. Although we've got Maguire, but he's not very happy at the moment. I've upset him because I gave his captaincy away. Um, so he's not happy. Wambasaka. Uh, Scott McTom. Garnacho. You're actually going to have to be our second striker, to be honest. Fred. Sancho. Zabitza. Okay, perfect. Right, so let's get the show on the road. Right, so as you can see, just before we do go into the game, um, we've got the intensity. So we've got a nice balanced intensity here. We've got a calm intensity once, we've, once we're winning and we're calm and we're looking to get in behind because we, we can. And then we've got really intense if we need to. So... That's what we, we're going to do. And if you noticed, in the team fluidity at the bottom, it's flexible. We want the system to be flexible. So that's what we're going with today. So let's get on with it, shall we? And let's see if what I'm thinking is going to work. I hope so. I really do. Because I've been mapping this out all afternoon. Um working on my spread spreadsheet i'm also updating stuff for the stream um twitch should look a lot better now because i've i've been working on it so um i do apologize for the very plain looking page before but i'm a work in progress i'm a diamond in the rough and the content will get better just bear with me a bit guys so we're in key highlights and Straight away, it's not looking too good to be fair. Fulham have had a couple of shots. But you can see what we're trying to do here. So we're playing out from the back. And we're looking to get Fulham to come towards us so that we can get in behind. Patiently. So let's see how it goes, shall we? It's Martinez. Up to Fernandez. Up to Van der Beek. Looking long towards Anthony, who's not going to receive that. He's already on a yellow card, so that makes me worried. And they're going to try and get in behind quickly there. But Williams come backwards, looking for support. Over the top, Varane's... Oh, I'm sure has got a knock as well. On it goes to Rashford, who's on the attack duty. And we're just looking for balance. There we go, back to Fernandez, Inside active to uh, Ericsson. Van der Beek, back to Ericsson. Fernandez, there's your opening. In it goes. Rashford. And there's your goal. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking to do. Patiently, look at that. The commentator's even saying, now that's football. That's what we're looking to do. So I've been working, trying to get this on paper working so you guys can understand that it's all about balance. If you make your tactic look symmetrical, both sides, so you've got a winger on attack, winger on attack, the other side, it breaks down. Um, there are circumstances where that will work, but generally speaking, you need it to be staggered. So your wing backs overlapping one side and your front man attacking from the other. So you're attacking from the back or you're attacking from the front. What we're trying to do is attack from the back and the front. 
just to make it a little bit unpredictable. That's a great ball. Marcus Rashford into Van der Beek. Van der Beek is another player that I've struggled to get working very well on the game. And hello. Thank you very much. That's 2-0. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to praise because we are looking fantastic, right? And because we're calm, we're winning. We're going to now go to the less intense. So we're going to save our players throughout the season. This is going to help. But we're also going to have a threat going forwards whilst looking after our players. So team management. Checking goal. I think that was onside, to be honest. Goal disallowed, actually. So let's cancel that because we're not 2 new up. I was keen to see that, though, to be honest. But how are you finding the gameplay now? It's looking very, very nice. And I think this might be the nicest tactic I've played FIFA, that's a great goal. I play FIFA and that's how I look to set my team up. Exactly how I have on paper here. And I find FIFA, it's a lot easier to get it working. Whereas on Football Manager, it's all about balance. So there we go, we are 2-0 up. That's a great goal, by the way. Great free kick. Christy and Eriksen, we've got three attack-minded central midfielders, but with a balance. And now we're going to go a little bit calmer. Um, we're on a low block now, so the goalkeeper is no longer a sweeper keeper. So you might think, hang on, a low block with the wing backs, they could be easy to get behind, but actually, no. It's the whole team will stay in shape now. So Fernandez now looking for Rashford again, and there's three straight away. Boom. I'm very happy with that. I've been working on this tactic for a good hour and a half now, putting it together. Um, and I wanted to show you the the rewards of taking the time, and making the most. Like it's very easy to get bogged down and tunnel vision with tactics, and something stops working, and then you like it's not working, so you need to change one thing, and then you change another thing, and then all of a sudden your whole shape is being pulled apart. Um, it's all about team shape, so I'm very happy with this. We could probably see the rest of the game out. With this, I think he's offside. He, he wasn't offside. Okay, sometimes when the linesman stands there like that, it, he didn't move, so I thought he was calling the flag. Right, so let's see what Fulham can do. They've got a massive mountain to climb now, haven't they? If you like what you see so far, please hit that like and subscribe if you're new. Um, it would really... I oh, really appreciate it. It helped the channel. We're looking to grow slowly, um, but every little helps. We are giving £50 away. Um, when we get to 50 uh, followers on Twitch, we're giving £50 voucher away. So please, please, please come and follow. If you haven't already, the link is in the description. There's a schedule of Sunday evening, Tuesday evening, and Thursday evening from 8 pm onwards. I will be streaming live and I would really appreciate it if you can come and watch this save with me as we do it live. Um, yesterday's stream was disappointing um, because we had those defeats and I just really wasn't happy, especially the Villa game. We was at 21 shots against, which is really not good enough. That's a great ball, by the way. I'm really enjoying this. We look fantastic going forwards. Um, yeah, so we've got the schedule for those three days, but I will be streaming in the daytime quite often. If you're about and not busy, come and join me. Um, and yeah, we get that £50 voucher out as soon as we get to the 50 followers and look to grow the channel. Van der Beek. Oh, hello. Now that is fantastic. Come on, you've got to give me a thumbs up for that. The tactic is just a dream. So every tactic you create, you need a plan B, a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, and if you want to, a plan D. Because there are actually, I feel like there should be four slots because there's four different ways of playing. You've got shut up shot, you've got like a nice counter, you've got a balanced where you're sort of 50-50, and then there's attacking when you need a goal. I think there should be four slots. What do you think? Are you happy with just the three? Do you normally just have one tactic? How would you normally set up? Please leave a comment in the description below. And uh, 
I will read it out in the next one. Oh my god, this is just getting fantastic. Come on. Have I just got this team working like a dream? Fulham are one of my biggest bogey teams in the Premier League. But I feel like we're giving them no respect at all. We're playing a real nice nice way here. Like the fullbacks are really high, supporting each other. The, the central midfielders are all attacking. There's no defensive midfielder in there. If you want a possession style football, this is how you do it. Feel free to copy and paste. I mean, I should really upload the uh, formations to Steam so you can download them. But if you just copy and paste, there's nothing. There's no player instructions. There's nothing, nothing added because the tactic with the player roles that are um, that I've chosen, they've got all of the things that you need, like um, take more risky passing uh, and all of that. So. Now that they've just scored one, what we're going to do, just to stop the rot, in case it becomes a rot, is just switch you or Mr. McTominay, who's great at winning the ball back, just to add a little bit of uh, defence-mindedness in there. Luke Shaw, you can come off as well, because you've taken a knock, and I don't want to make it worse, whatever it is. Uh, so it's a knee injury, yeah. We need to be careful with that. Um, and then I'm going to save Marcus Rashford because we need him going forwards. And it seems like Anthony is very, very um, good on the right-hand side, but he's on a yellow, so we're going to swap him. So we're going to save one sub. We're just going to change it up and rest our first-team players as much as we can here. The game management again. Yes, let's make those changes. Perfect. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to say nothing right now because there's a highlight. Right, Varane. Varane, if you like. Martinez. Oh, no, that's terrible. That's terrible. This might be 5-2. Look at the numbers getting forward for Fulham. Oh. We're lucky not to concede there. Right, I'm actually going to demand more. I know we're 5-1 up. In fact, focus. Focus, please, because that was that was a real shambles. It might be the, pl uh, the passing lines. We might have the passing line a little bit too short for the way we try to play. Diego Dello crosses in towards Sancho, who's not going to win that against Mitrovic. Fernandez back to Malasia. Oh. Having a go from distance, bless him. And why not? We're 5-1 up. Enjoy. Enjoy that game. 15 shots, 9 on target. You can see that actually, because we've got all these roles combining very well, that we're getting the most out of the team. I'm really happy with this, and I hope you are too. You should try it. Um, have a look at your tactic. Are you playing too many attacking roles? Especially in the final third, if you've got... Say, for example, you're playing a 4-2-3-1 and you've got three of those on attack. You, that's why you're not scoring goals. Because you've got too many players running away from the ball, trying to get in behind. That's what they do in kids' football. It's either the, everyone comes to the ball or everyone's running away from the ball. You need a mix of both. And that's a nice ball. Oh, hello. Come on. Is this just good or what? I'm really happy with that. Right, let's see who else deserves a rest. Um, let's bring Fernandez off for Sabitza because I feel has he got long shots? He has. Look at his long shots 16. He's a tasty player, Sabitza. Yes, let's make that change, please. So, yeah, that's the result of rethinking recalibrating going a little bit more adventurous but at the same time a nice balance so that's what you need you don't want to overexert. if you go too attacking and you've got your passing range right up and you're pressing really high and you're demanding more and uh, close down much more and tackle harder um preventing short goal kicks and it's too much and you've got too many attacking roles it doesn't work you have to balance it down. So if you're attacking, think about your passing directness. That can go in the middle. That's fine. The width can stay in the middle. That's fine. The attacking mentality will do everything that you need for you. 
um, in that sense. So don't overexert with attacking mentalities and don't over um, exert with your well not exert what's the opposite don't don't be too defensive with your mentalities and roles in defense as well you can play a low block um, but you don't have to go too defensive because it, it gives you the opposite effect so there you go we've stopped the rot and for those of you that have been watching on the stream i really appreciate you and please come and join me on twitch the link is in the description below thanks for watching I've been your host, Tactically. This is FM Raw, and keep coming back for more. Thank you. Take care.